Alright, alright, alright everyone, my name is Echo Tango and welcome back to Terraria Master Mode. So, today I would actually like to take on Duke Fishron, the mutant terror of the sea, and man I'm really excited to see what he's got around for Master Mode. Hurry of course, more health, obviously hits harder. Can't wait to see what happens. Anyways, before we do, if you remember at the very end, the very, very end of last episode... Gotcha! Oh my gosh! Well, we actually got quite a few things, and these are just a few of the things we got. So, of course, because it's Master Mode, we got the Martian Saucer Relic. We also got this Cosmic Skateboard, which is actually a pet. So if you can see here, here's the little Martian guy right here. Let him, let's let him fly out a little bit. Look him go. And look at this guy go, man. But I do like my Skeletron Prime pet a lot more. So I'm going to go ahead and just store that away. We also got a Martian Saucer Trophy, so lucky us. And we also got three really good weapons. Influx Waver is a really good melee weapon. Projectiles and all that can also do quite a bit of damage. We got a Sino Staff which is a really good summon weapon, but we're not a summoner, so we won't use that. And then, we got a laser machine gun, which is one of my favorite weapons to use. So I'm actually going to replace the Razor Pine, because I love, love, love the laser machine gun. Fires lasers, it go, it'll just go infinitely and all that, and I really, really love that. And it's actually the perfect weapon against Duke Fisher, so I can't wait to use that. So, but of course I'm going to go ahead and give that a better uh, reforge. Uh, I think it, yeah, knockback. Okay, so I can definitely get a better reforge in that. But there's actually one more thing I want to do before we go fight Duke Fishtron. Is actually, I would like to make a support weapon called the Golden Shower. Now you can actually make this as early as early hard mode, but again, better late than never. And all you need is 20 ichor, 15 souls of night, and one spell tome, which you can buy from the wizard. And there you go. At the bookshelf, golden shower, and you can add, you can use this just to inflict ichor on your enemies. It doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but of course, I'm just using it primarily to inflict ichor debuff on my enemies because it lowers their defense, of course. So I'm gonna go ahead, probably get some better reforges on those, and we're gonna go ahead and I'll meet you guys at Duke Fisher on. Alright guys, here we are at the ocean, we're about to fight Duke Fishron. I mean, I got all my potions, my food, I got my truffle worms, and then they're giving me this warning here when it comes to fishing. So we got to be very, very careful because of course, all we have to do is hook that truffle worm onto the end of the line here and we'll summon Duke Fishron. Just let me take care of all these little slimes here first and I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out. And then, let's put some of the money away. Buff up, like there, just get a little bit of a buff there. Now let's go ahead and get this party started, my friends. So, waiting for this little bit of the heal there. I'm actually, I'm pretty excited for this Duke Fisher. I don't know what to expect here, so, but just be ready to expect anything. A lot of enemies too, Jesus. Let me just take these cares. Alright guys, here we go when it comes to Duke Fishron. Let's get this party started. Alright, any minute now. And there we go. Man. Okay, so he's doing his charges. Five charges in his in his first phase, because of course we're just doing first phase. Jesus. Oh, also, I should probably change out just in case, change to the Spectre Hood. Oh, I just realized we're in second phase now, so he does three charges. Right, maybe switch back over to the he to the damage. That's a big Cthulhu NATO coming up. Let me just dash a little bit. Oh boy. Now, I think we should be transitioning over to the... Oh! Dang it! Oh! Dang it! What? Oh, man. I actually almost got him. I actually almost got him that time. Are you serious? That was actually a pretty fast fight, if I don't say so myself. Anyways, I'll, we'll get back there once I have to get all my potions again. All right, guys, here we are back at the ocean, ready for take two. Let's go ahead and buff up. I actually want to try something here. 
And that is, um, I'm actually going to go ahead and t set auto pause on. So that means while we're actually flying and if we want need to switch over to hood, we can do that. It'll be really easy. We don't, we're actually not interrupted and we can go right back into the fighting. I also just realized I kind of forgot to use my golden shower there for a second. So I'm going to try to, let's just actually try to use that next time. So anyways, okay, let's go ahead. Let's get this guy fished up. Any minute now. There we go. We got him golden shower. Pretty good. That was not a good start. Just golden shower. All right. He's going to switch over to a second phase at this point. I don't know if I managed to debuff him fast enough, but... Jesus, look at him go. Okay, debuff. Alright. This is kind of a bad p position to be in. But I'll try to manage. He's switching over to a second phase. Or third phase, I meant. Oh, there he is. And we got him, guys. That is pretty epic. So, actually, not too hard of a fight, if I don't say so myself. So, let's see what we got here. So, we got the Duke Fish Run Relic, because Master Mode. And we got a Treasure Bag, and let's see... Oh, there we go. Sorry about that. Actually, let me go ahead and auto pause off. We got a Shrimpy Truffle, which is a really good mount, and... We got a Razor Blade Typhoon, and that is a really, really awesome magic weapon. This is actually going to be really useful against the, um, the Looter Pillars once we get to that stage of the game. But so I'm actually, I actually do like that. Uh, let me, let me just show you again. Yeah, look at that. That is pretty awesome, if I don't say so myself. Now, I mean, we do... We do have a little bit of potion left on us. That was a pretty quick fight. We got two more truffle worms. Let's go ahead and give this guy a fight again. I can't wait to see what else comes next. So, get myself fishing. All right, here we go. Let's try it again. See what else we can get from this guy. So he did his five dashes. And actually, I noticed I didn't even have to use heals that time, so that was pretty actually good. That was pretty cool. Okay, debuff. Man, that was a close dodge right there. Okay, switching over to the second fa- Ooh, I almost got hit by that tornado. So he does his three dashes, his circle of bubbles. Actually got hit by that bubble just there. Let me get this. Let me get that Cthulhu NATO over there so it's out of the way. Let's get that debuff on. Ooh, he got me there. Now, okay, this the hard, the third phase. He's coming up from my left. He's coming up from my right. He got me there. He's coming up from my right, right again. Oh, no, not again. Ah, oh, sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't, you know. Oh, well. I think I'll give him one more go since I have that last truffle worm. See what we get from that. I'll be right back. All right, guys, here we are again back at the ocean. Do you think we can defeat Duke Fisheron one more time with this last truffle worm? Let's find out. So auto pause back on. Let's go ahead and get this thing fished. I got myself buffed up. So that is pretty good to go. Now let's see what happens next. Do you think we can do it? Do you think we can do it? Let's find out. So buff up, I mean debuffed. That was about kind of a bad start. That was also a bad start. That was close. Oh boy, oh boy, okay, okay. No, no, bad. Okay, switch out, switch out, switch out, switch out. Switch out, he's in the second phase. Okay, this is kind of, this is actually really concerning me. 
I can't heal up just yet. Haven't been able to debuff him yet. Do you think we can manage it? Get some more heals? We are. Yeah, he is. He's rocking it, man. Okay, maybe we can switch over now. Okay, here comes the pain. He comes from my left side. Oh, and we got him. Woo, that was amazing. And let's see what we got this time. Actually, let me turn back, auto pause back off. And then treasure bag, another shrimpy truffle. And we got a bubble gun, another magic weapon. Not necessarily the biggest fan of bubble gun because it only has very limited range, but it can actually deal quite a lot of damage up close, which is actually the whole, the whole point of this. So limited range, but quite a lot of damage. It's weak, so it only stuns 126 magic damage, but it can do, of course, a lot more. Watch this. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty cool, I say, but not my favorite kind of magic weapon. But that is Duke Fisheron, everyone. It definitely feels like it's a really, really short episode. I don't actually know what I want to do next. But if I do happen to have a lot of time, I might as well, I may as well go ahead and show you a pirate invasion because we actually, ne I never really actually got to show you that mm -hmm. and it did happen to be off camera. So let me go ahead, check the time real quick and we'll see what happens next. Okay guys, so I just checked the time and it turns out I do actually happen to have enough time to do a pirate invasion. So here we are, we got our pirate map, summons a pirate invasion. You can just go ahead, get this from any enemy in the ocean with a 1 and a... Well, I think, it was, I think it's a 1 and a 100 uh, drop chance. So let's go ahead and get this pirate invasion started. Pirates are approaching from the east. Now, of course, it does take a lot of time for the pirates to come up here, maybe about a minute or two, in this case an hour in-game time, but we can wait. I'll be willing to wait for them. I'll be prepared. I mean, look at these weapons. Mystic Laser Machine Gun, Godly Golden Shower, Masterful Razor Blade Typhoon. We could take on these guys easily. Now, of course, if this were early hard mode, which is when you can start fighting them, it'll be a lot harder. But let's just see how much, let's just see if, like, of course, can they still hit as hard? Can they still move fast and all that? Do what they do? You know, how how tough is the Flying Dutchman even in um, late hard mode as where, where we are now? I just want to see what it's like. But eventually they'll be coming around. Oh, here they are! So let's go ahead and try our laser machine gun first. And man, just look at that wrecking! Wrecking. Ooh, I just noticed we got a cutlass there. That is pretty awesome. Cutlass. It's pretty pretty rare drop chance, I think. A lot of the pirate drops are actually pretty rare. Oh, look at that. 146 damage just now, just from that one arrow. They can still hit pretty hard, even in late hard mode. Ooh, that arrow almost got me. That lob shot. So that's I was just showing you the uh, laser machine gun. This, of course, that's actually what to compare it with early hard mode weapons like this golden shower here. It could still it still does quite a bit of damage actually. Look at that. Look at it go. But not a whole lot. And now razor blade typhoon, ultimate record. Look at that. Look at look at that go, man. Look at that go. <laughs> look at that thing go. I just noticed we got a lot of money. Let's put some money in the bank here. All right. Let's see what else we got. A lot of enemies over here. Ooh, I just noticed there was a pirate captain over there. Look at that. So here we are. Look at him, look at him take care. Look at all those razor blades. All those razor blades take care of them. And notice, this is new to 1.4. Once you kill a pirate captain, there's, a, there's this ghost, this pirate spirit that comes out of him. So we have to take care of that pretty quickly, otherwise they'll attack us. And they, of course, they fly too. So you have to be careful with that as well. Let's see, got another cutlass from that. Hmm. Rare? I don't know anymore. This is Master Boat after all, so those things are probably diff different. I don't exactly remember the chop chances for, um... Oh, there's another captain right here. Let's, let's golden shower him. Razor Blade Typhoon him. And that heavy hitting damage. And another ghost right there. Look at that. Pretty awesome. Another captain. Oh, wow. Got a lot of captains. Razor Blade. I mean, not Razor Blade. Golden Shower him to lower his defense. Another ghost. Look at that. 
And we're 33% of the way through. That's a third, guys. That's a third. We are making excellent progress. We are making excellent, excellent progress. A lot of enemies up here. He almost hit me. Good thing he didn't. Or did I dodge? I couldn't tell. I didn't see, I didn't see the smoke cloud from when I dodged him. Okay, let's see here. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, banners. 50th pirate crossbower. That's pretty epic. Let's see what else we got. More enemies over here. A lot of deckhands. A lot of corsairs. And our first flying Dutchman because we are 50% of the way through. Let's see how he can handle my razor blade typhoon. Obviously, this is really easy. Oh, Jesus. I got hit twice. There. Oh, I got hit multiple times. So, yeah, they can still do a lot of damage even in late hard mode. I'm just going to get those heals. Oh my gosh, jeez, look at that. Oh, that was a close dot. Oh my gosh, these pirate crossbowers are hitting me. Oh no, there's another one. <laughs> there's another um, pirate deckhand, or not deckhand, pirate flying Dutchman. Jeez, holy cow. Those cannonballs can actually fly pretty far. And of course they explode too, so there's that as well. Man, these projectiles can fly really far. Jeez, look at that. I almost I almost got hit by those. Alright, let's go ahead and turn the bandage back on. I think it's time for that. I almost got him. Watch out for the cannonballs! Woo, look at that. Yeah. I mean, there is a similar strategy out here because all you have to do is really fly over the Flying Dutchman. Big, long arcs, hit it with all your attacks you can got, and that's the general strategy for any time at hard mode, so you can easily do this. And the pirates have been defeated! Oh, look at that! Fast! Easy! Quick and easy! Then again, this is, um... <laughs> what do you call it? Um, late hard mode, so this should be pretty easy after all. Wow, look at all the stuff that I just got! Holy cow, all this furniture, these these banners, pirate crossbow, pirate deadeye, deckhands. Well, we actually killed a lot of deckhands. And we also got ourselves a flying Dutchman trophy, rare drop. And because this is master mode, we got, of course, our flying Dutchman relics. We got well, see, a lot of furniture, cutlasses, pirate stat. That's pretty good summoning weapon for early hard mode. And I just noticed master mode drop here, the black spot. Summons the Black Spot Mount. Arr, this be mutiny. And let's go ahead and take a look at that mount, because I've actually never seen this before. It's, from what I understand, it's an infinite flight mount. It's basically just a little tiny uh, Flying Dutchman here. Goes at 36 miles per hour, so obviously not as good as our Witch's Broom, because, well, Witch's Broom is Pumpkin Moon thing. But it is infinite flight, so that if you can actually manage to score this in early hard mode, you are pretty much set for infinite flight. So that is really, really good. But, our Witch's Room is better. But I just thought that was pretty cool, and also do note, it is Master Mode. So, with that being said, with the Pirate Invasion done, with Duke Fishron defeated, I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here. So, thank you guys for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, drop a like down below, lets me know how I'm doing. And if you want to see more of my content, why not hit the subscribe button? How about me, and how about you? So once again, thank you all. Until next time, I'll see you around.